had a torque request or a torque offset here that's going to translate into a pound per hour. Now in this truck PCM, that's going to be missing because on these truck applications, we're going to be finding that sometimes it's not going to have a that, that valve that's going to be controlling the pressure to achieve the desired uh, air, the desired uh, charging status for our air conditioning to work and uh, maintain at the thermostat that we have programmed the dash, the value. So if we have it at 60 degrees, our pressure might fluctuate here to ob obtain that. Now in a truck, it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be using a traditional on and off with the AC clutch switch. So we're going to have the AC on, but it's going to be charging it for a period of time, then turning it off, then turning it on, turning it on it off. It's not going to be looking or, or controlling with a valve specific pressure. It's going to be uh, having a time-based model where it's going to be turning that AC clutch switch on or off. And that's going to be the traditional style you're going to find in most cars. So it's not going to use this AC pressure table here for any kind of compensation. It's simply going to be using, if our torque management, jump into our engine here, it's simply going to be using our inertia torque table. And we're going to be looking at that uh, in this live example. Now, the concepts that we talked about can still be applied um, that we were looking in that Camaro file. If we are seeing our short-term Let's jump in here. Our short-term uh, short idle trims here, if we see that they're uh, varying uh, a lot when we see our AC clutch engages on and the all on status all the time, and then we're also going to see that our AC pressure here is going to be showing us whatever that pressure is going to be at. We're going to know that we have to move to that part of the table depending on what the voltage is at and then update it and uh, put more torque request in our pressure table here to uh, go ahead and dampen out our short-term idle trims and get them as close to zero as possible. So the first thing we have to do to really get an idea of what's going on with our idle control, whether we're going to be on a Camaro file, the VET file, or a truck-based file, jump into idle and do adaptive idle airflow. We're going to have to go and zero all of our adaptive idle airflow out and see what's going on solely with our base running airflow table. This has to be dialed in as close to zero as possible before we can go and implement any kind of uh, long-term control so we can expose what's going on when we turn on the AC, we can see directly in our short-term idle trims without any kind of long-term interference here and absorbing any of the uh, difference in our short-term. We're going to be seeing directly what is going on and how much we might have to either go in and update our inertia torque as the AC turns on, um, or if we see some long-term effect, if the AC is staying in that on state and we're simply going to be using the valve on an LS to vary the pressure to maintain that desired charging for the AC system, we're going to be seeing that uh, we're going to have to go in and uh, maybe go and change, either increase or decrease this torque amount in this table. So let's go right now into our idle here. Let's go and zero out all of our adaptive trims. Let's jump then back into our scanner after we flash this and then see what we're going to be finding.